story down in Galveston tonight where at 6.30, a Galveston ISD school board meeting will be held, the first meeting since the security scare at Ball High School. Many parents have shared their concerns with us after a student brought a gun to that school yesterday. Brittany Jeffers live in Galveston where parents are going to voice their concerns about security tonight. Brittany? And Dominique, as you mentioned, that meeting is going to begin in 30 minutes, but I'm already seeing parents start to show up. Some of them who signed up to speak say they're going to take that time to address some of their concerns about safety and security at the high school. I also spoke to some students who say they believe that that needs to be discussed. Picture this. You're sitting in your class about to start your next assignment. It was tough to talk about the lockdown, but Lillian DuPont said she had to try for her and for others. Every single student is praying that this isn't what everyone's making it out to be. Yesterday, the ninth grader was in choir when a classmate was arrested, accused of bringing an unloaded handgun to school. No child should have to experience the feeling that they might not make it home from school that night. 24 hours later, many are channeling that fear into action. Something needs to be done. These people need to open their eyes and do something now. Debbie Gass' grandson attends Ball High School, and tonight she's taking her concerns straight to the GISD board meeting. You know, it's got to be dealt with somewhere. And it she and others, like Petra Longoria, say they want to see more security. The mesh backpacks where you can see what the kids are bringing in, along with maybe a metal detector through this main doors. I think they've needed metal detectors at Ball High for a long time, and they, they need to do it now. According to district officials, after the incident, administrators will review safety policies, adding that GISD requires two drills per semester for lockdown, lockout, shelter in place, and reverse evacuation. For some, that training is very valuable, but not enough. I want them to go to school. I don't want them to go to school and be scared. This is a situation that needs to be handled, and it's not going to be able to be handled without discussion. Now, within the hour, I did hear back from district officials, and they tell me that at this point there are no updates on this investigation. Of course, we will let you know as soon as we find out more. Live here in Galveston, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC Channel 2 News.